What up guys? I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to Earth Zero. And today we're going to be talking about Batman, one of my favorite heroes. Like people are like, oh Nick, you really like Batman, he's your favorite superhero and whatever. And I'm like, yeah, he is my favorite superhero. But like, I just don't like when people are like, who's your favorite superhero? I just don't say Batman because like, I feel like if you don't like Batman, it's weird. Like Batman is that must on your list, you know? So it just kind of seems weird when everyone's like, oh, Batman's my favorite. It just feels like that alternative superhero to choose, you know? So I never really say Batman, but like Batman was the hero I've always liked from big, like the beginning. Everyone's like, what about Spider-Man? What about Hulk? And I was like, those guys were cool. But Batman did it for me. Those animated series killed it. So uh, before we go into detail today, please click that subscribe button, it would be much appreciated. So I'm going to be talking about the bat suits that I've liked throughout time, only the ones I've liked, not the ones I've disliked. So we're going to skip that whole material goofy saga part of Batman, all those other suits back in the 90s. 90s and all that nope I'm not going through that 90s whatever 1990 what we're not going through all of that and we're gonna start off with Michael Keaton's Batman which I really liked back then as a kid and um, reasons being was that yellow belt that yellow bat symbol like yo it was just so cool like uh, it really stuck out for me the armor that he had was just it looks solid and he looked scary he looked like actual batman like yo like i com when you compared him to like the animated series well character wise he was dope so yeah i really liked that suit just did it for me uh then i'm gonna skip the whole Freaking bat nibbles nipple saga. We're not doing that. Never liked any of those suits. I'm gonna start off with Christian Bale. So I really like Christian Bale's Batman and Batman Begins. Really, really dope suit. I thought like the ears were amazing. The suit was amazing. It it, it fitted him well. It really looked like he was just becoming Batman. You know, not too much tech not too much what what it was just a really good normal suit and then the all black really really worked out for me as well there there wasn't too many like yellow and everything it was something different that i liked i liked the symbol on his chest then the dark knight rises obviously came out well no the dark knight came out sorry the dark knight came out and then I liked how they changed the suit at first. I was like, this is like really cool. I liked how skinny, like, like, it was just a nice slender version of Batman. But then I started hating it in Dark Knight Rises. Like, it felt like, yo, this guy had like a freaking cast on his neck. And like, yo, it just really looked squishy and uncomfortable to be Batman, you know? Like, even in the Dark Knight, after, uh, I watched the Dark Knight Rise. I went back and I was like, "How the hell are you comfortable in that in that neck thing? It looked like a neck cast. His mouth was just all squashed. It's like, yo, just how the hell could you breathe in that suit? Check this. You wanted me. Here I am. And why do you want to kill me? You're garbage. You kills for money. I have one rule." Yeah, maybe that's why he spoke like that. So, yo, Ben Affleck suit. So, uh, I, I, I honestly love Ben Affleck's suit. When I saw it back in the day when I was still in high school, I was like, what? This suit looks amazing. It looked exactly like the Dark Knight Returns suit. It was nice and big. I liked how they mixed the black uh, Batman symbol with the gray suit. Like no one had seen the actual gray, gray suit properly in this day and age, you know. But only we only saw it back in the day, obviously. But that was like, that was horrible, cheap stuff. 
and like I liked how they didn't try too hard with like the armor and the material it was just done so well so that was an amazing suit I like the coal and the cape and everything yeah like Ben Affleck really suited the look when he was in the bat suit it was just amazing but that's that's different to me liking the movie I did not like the movie guys Batman and vs Superman movie was horrible and that's a topic for another day but yeah don't confuse me liking the suit to liking the movie and then we come to our last Batman suit that's looking pretty amazing from what I've just seen so far and that is Robert Pattinson's first look in the Batman suit for the Matt Reeves movie guys and this suit just looks like some other technology so obviously they said that it was gonna uh, be inspired by some of that uh, Noel suit which it kind of is but at the same time it still has that Arkham Knight kind of like look with the armor it just looks so different and like Patterson, like mask and face, yo, it just fits him so well. Like it looks like this suit's gonna do a great job. I don't know if it's the lighting or what that makes it look good. Maybe we just need to see it in color. But so far, everyone thinks it looks really dope. And I like that they said that they were gonna keep it like minimum, like a homemade Batman suit. It wasn't gonna be too much. And uh I like how they mixed it a bit so it has a bit of that technology in it but at the same time it does kind of look like it's just been made quick 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 not too hectic and then the Batman like mask I'm not gonna lie to you guys uh, the first video that I watched when I saw this was an edit by someone and they played the what's a daredevil theme song from the series and I swear to you, like, Robert Pattinson's face does have that kind of Daredevil look to it, you know, like his mask and Daredevil's mask from the angle that we have seen it from does kind of look the same. But besides that, I like how the eyes are also looking, looking pretty dark and whatever. Hopefully we do get to see it in just pure white, like they said. Well, hopefully the colors are good we can't really see the colors right now but it's probably gonna look dope and thank you Matt Reeves for this Valentine's Day present we all needed this and uh, thank you guys for watching this video please like and subscribe please comment at the bottom about my videos what you'd like to see what you would like for me to talk about what you would like to see in 2020 and uh, let's just keep it going guys Bye.